Today, we're going to do a durability test on the Walksnail Goggles X that I got from Cadex. No, we are not going to do a test for impact or drop resistance nor scratch test, but rather we will be testing how it handles heat now. So let's get started. So this one is a fresh Walksnail Goggles X, still sealed. Checking the production date, it says it came from the December 2023 batch. Though I'm not sure if Cadex has a sub-production within the batch. As manufacturing, we still vary among weeks. Upon talking with Cadex, particularly Wax Nail Line, I was informed that this goggles has the improved hardware, particularly the integration of the new fan, new heatsink, and interestingly, the new heat-resistant OLED screens. Take note that there were various feedbacks from existing users of Goggles X, where some had zero issues with the OLED screens, while some had overheating issues that led to the malfunctions ranging from discoloration of the OLED to dimming of the screen, which are blamed to the inefficient removal of heat. With such improvements made on this Goggles X, we are surely interested how things will go. Before proceeding, let's have a look at what's under the top cover. To pop the cover out, we need to remove the two small Phillips screws which are hidden under the face foam pad. Be careful not to lose these screws. Now we get to see the heatsink that is installed. This is different from the one that has been rolled out to existing Goggles X users to fix the heat management issues. The one installed on these goggles is a shiny silver plate. Unlike the black one, that seems to have more fins for heat dissipation. But as Kadex said, I won't be needing to replace the heat sink that came with it. They seem to be confident with the improvements they have made. If you are those existing users that just got the black heat sink for upgrade, you just need to remove these four small Phillips screw and swap the shields. Proceeding with the test, I opted to use my one SVTX unit and had it bound with the goggles X. And since I will be conducting a 2-hour test, I placed the VTX on top of a small fan so the VTX will keep functioning until the end of the test. Note that we will have the Goggles X recording enabled while we do the test and also the proximity sensor disabled. Let's move the Goggles away from the fan as well. Now here are the initial values as shown on the screen with zoom set to 10%. LED 1 has 49.99 Celsius, while LED 2 has 44.99 Celsius. We'll be monitoring these values and we'll also check the input voltage and goggle stamp in the test. Now the goggles is heating up a bit after a couple of minutes. These are now the values after 30 minutes and after 60 minutes have passed. Here are the values after 90 minutes, 64.99 degrees Celsius on LED 1, 51.42 degrees Celsius on LED 2. 120 minutes have passed and now here are the values. LED 1 is still on 64.99 degrees Celsius and LED 2 has 51.42 degrees Celsius. Goggle stamp is 75.25 degrees Celsius. Interestingly, the temperature readings of the screens remain the same, exactly the same as what we got at 90 minutes. So the 2-hour test was done, and here is the summary. LED 1 seems to stabilize at 64.99 degrees Celsius, while LED 2 at 51.42 degrees Celsius. I also conducted a field test the other day with 30 degrees Celsius ambient temperature, and I did not have any issues while using the goggles. I asked some of those existing Goggles X owners who have done heatsink upgrade and I was told that the temperature was also about the same as what I had with mine. I guess it would be safe to say that the heatsink upgrade works. So if you have heating issues, then get the heatsink upgrade. Nonetheless, if this Goggles X is the same as the ones that are now being shipped out by CADEX, then most likely you will not have issues with it. No need to do mods or upgrade. As a summary, the Goggles X worked as per my test. I did not do a teardown to see the new hardware as this video is just mainly to conduct the test. Let the bigger product reviewers handle it. This is Wind FPV. Thanks again for staying tuned.